Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching 46 Okanin Minogatari, the Shinkaran. And if you thought this game was getting weird, you probably ain't seen nothing yet because we're heading into the final disc of the game, which is disc four. I press enter and that takes us right into the Lost Continent era, the Forgotten Period. I don't think this is really a forgotten period. I think we talk about the Ice Age a lot, but let's see what happens in this era. We have, there were four different evolutionary tracks we could have taken now this looks a lot more like the world as i know it uh there is a weird continent there in the middle however i think we might be uh making our way to that uh hawaii is pretty big kind of overrepresented on this map so let's see let's go down the way can i go into the i cannot go into the little ice atmosphere okay all right, so there were four different evolutionary tracks, and I have taken the mammal track. Oh, here come the dinosaurs. They are ready to kick my tail. Let's see how we do against one. This is, okay, Tyrannosaurus attacks. So I have specials. All I can do is recover. I can't even mount a defense. Let's fight for now. Okay, I'm doing much better than they are. I am, for some reason, my little... My little ferret form, my little marmoset here is, uh, wow. So I am built to take on Tyrannosauruses. Yeah, it seems like that makes, you know, some sense. It seems like they would not be doing too well in the Ice Age, but let's see what we've got here as far as evolution. So we're over here. Okay, it looks like there's two separate trees, maybe. Uh... It's going to take a while to evolve in any event. At least 400 hit points. So it looks like it looks like we can get back to maybe evening up the score, but I think as usual I want to get down to attack first, but yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of a grind in this one, I do think. But I do want to get to the first special landmark and see what our mission for the chapter is. Let's see, let's go on on and up through the mountain passage. So Tyrannosauruses are all there are right now. So the more attack I... The more damage I deal... Okay, yeah, this is pretty ideal right now. I'm doing very well. I guess I could have taken this track, evolutionarily speaking, but I kind of wanted to see how a mammal would fare, and I think I'm doing comparatively well in this area. Especially if I keep getting these dang old desperate attacks. Uh, the Ice Age is treating me quite well so far. So I could probably just go up through the mountain pass here. And uh, whenever I feel like I'm low on life, I can just sit or I can just jump straight into a fight and use the time to recover. Alright, yeah, I don't feel threatened by Tyrannosaurus at all. Very nice. And I'm getting 100 Evo genes per defeated enemy. What's this one? That is a monster Tyranno, so should I... Okay, a monster Tyranno is probably considerably more threatening. Okay, yeah, it's much more on my level. I'm going to try to escape from it. So I should only fight uh, regular Tyrannosaurus for the time being. But here comes that monster Tyranno. Boy, he's got, a, he's got a revenge vendetta going here. How many points do I use at a time now when I move along the chart? 20. Okay, so that's... That's very good. I need to I need to hep up my endurance if I'm going to be taking on. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go pretty far toward endurance. Get that humped up. There we go. Okay, so I should be able to. Let's see if that helps me considerably against the monster Tyranno. So I fight it. Oh yeah. So I feel a little. Okay, a desperate attack puts me on top. Hopefully it doesn't unlucky attack and kill me in one fell swoop. Okay, so I got lucky by not getting unlucky attack. That gave me slightly more... That gave me slightly more Evo Gene. So I want to go in an endurance attack direction. So yeah. And vitality is also important as well. Everything is important. Nothing is unimportant. Okay, yeah, they're doing even less damage to me now. Ah, uh, yeah, I can just take these guys. I can take a lot of them going on down the pipe. It's the monster Tyrannos that I have to watch out for, but being a mammal has given me a considerable evolutionary advantage. 
I can just go line after line of Tyrannosaurs, and it's amazing. Wow, this is really great, and they're everywhere. The only thing is, yeah, that's really the only thing is they're everywhere. So if I want to try to get through this mountain pass, I think I'm going to have a rough go of it. Unless I can just... Unless I can just go around this. Okay, yeah, I can go around that pass. Received 108 Evo genes. A Kawamaton attack. Kawamaton. What does that do? Okay, it's also kind of a bad one. I want to stay in... Get away from me. Okay, yeah, this is something more in line with what I want to fight. So I need to stay around the beginning area for a little bit and fight probably... So there's the... That's a Tyrannosaurus. Those Kawamatons move really quick. They could come get me at any moment. So I want to go... Yeah, I want to go really hard in the attack paint. Make sure... I can take these things down so I'm going up 20 at a time and stop right there okay so I also need vitality as well I'm gonna okay I'm gonna get close to evolutionary tracks in all directions and then I'll be back okay one movement in any direction will allow me to evolve so we're gonna jump around the chart here for just a second first we're gonna go attack that sends us down to neo two pie which is Latin for new two pie Lived in rocky areas where it ate insects, small animals, and fruits. Larger version of a little Neo Tupai. Well, that would make sense, I guess, if that was the naming convention you were going with. So now we jump over. So now the next evolution is several hundred points in either direction, once again. So now, I think we want to go... I'd like to go... I'd like to go probably in another... Let's put a hundred or so into endurance and then more attacks so now that we are a green squirrel uh i think we're gonna hang on to that i think we're going really well on the mammal course here how does that help us out against monster tyrannos okay yes i feel much more confident against them wow boy do i ever so now in our neo two pie form let's go looking for a landmark Okay, it looks like that might be Gaia's light right there. Yes, she's going to tell us what we have to do here in uh, whichever continent we're on right now. It looks like we might be in South America. I did survive, thank goodness. Surviving life forms have continued to evolve while I, rather the planet, recovered from its wounds. There, you know, Gaia, Earth, tomato, tomato. I am proud to live alongside these strong creatures. Now that the devil is gone, this planet can be at peace. You must now go and obtain the wisdom necessary to lead this planet into the future. Fulfill the promise you made to me when you were but a small fish 400 million years ago. I will do exactly that. So we got... Looks like we got a big... Some kind of honking horse thing right here. Is this the thing I want to take? It looks like maybe one of those taper type things. I think I might want to spend my money before I go hit that thing. Uh, how good are we in each area? We're actually pretty well balanced right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go for. I'm gonna go ahead and go for. Maybe like. Four, four, and two. Or wait, no. Two, two, and four. Wait, what would be the most even split? Let's go about 300 points over in an endurance direction. About 300 points in an attack direction. That should leave 300 to dump into. Vitality? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Get some hit points before we see what that thing down the way is. Yes! I should be able to escape from it as well. I, hopefully I can give things the slip. Let's see. You're awfully slow, whatever you are. A Paleo Mastodon. A very angry-looking taperer who has some very terrible dental work. Oh, yeah. That's, uh... That's, like, right inside our little house. I did manage to escape from it. Yes, a new era has come. I understand that. A new era in which I must fight Kawamatons. They're way more on my level. Oh, yes, there we go. The beautiful little desperate attack. That's what I love to hear. All right, so let's cross over. We're crossing through Central America now, it looks like. All right, making our way up through ye old Aztec land. Oh, what is this? Pil Pleopithecus. Hey, hey, you. You can't just punch a saber-toothed tiger to death. But, I've heard rumors of something that can kill him. In 
the Mammoth Burial Grounds to the northeast. So it looks like the Sabertooth Tiger might be the big baddie of the chapter. Or at least this part. Kawamaton also wants in on this, I guess. Well, guess what, buddy? There you go. I'm going to take some time here to recover. I have defend capacity now as a Neo 2 pie. Yeah, that should be... Yeah, that's it for you. So we've got also Pteranodons flying around. Is that a worm attacks? That sounds bad. Yeah, that's more of an on-level type of thing. But if I pull ahead, there we go. I'm going to take defense time to recover. All right, it's still defending, which means I can fight it now. I feel better doing that. All right. Oh, no, an unlucky attack. That's very bad, though. I want to get over to that pool right there. The pools are in... Okay, yeah. Please don't kill me with random events before I can get to the pool. That would suck a lot. Well, I'm glad I ran into you, random Pleopithecus. That's that's good to... Okay. Looks like we got a little... Can we sneak around the way here? We got Mastodons and Sabertooth Tigers. Those two look like they're about to get into it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything much I can do up this way, so... Alright, I want to be careful with what I fight for now. Monster Tyrannos are okay to fight. They're not going to do much of anything to me. Very good. Alright. Very nice. 684. Let's pump toward Wisdom. And then, okay, kind of balance everything else out as well. 5600. I think we can get to 5600. Ooh, I can evolve. Uh, yeah, I want to take it in a direction. Pleo Tupai. Is that more like a monkey squirrel? This species had a sturdy body and well-developed limbs. What does Pleo mean? I don't know what that prefix means. Lived in forests, occasionally leaving to visit grasslands. Okay, and we still got a few points to spend, so the next evolution is at 5,710. Let's just pump into Vitality. Hit points are generally the thing I tend to be lowest on. So let's go up here. Let's save in case messing with a Sabertooth Tiger turns out to be a bad idea. A few Sabertooth Tigers are attacking an old mammoth. What will you do? Well, obviously I'm going to save the mammoth because I'm a friend of creatures that are getting attacked. You decide to save the old mammoth so you bravely face the Sabertooth Tigers. However, there's more than one of these vicious tigers, so you're unable to chase them away. If only you had something to scare them away. So, that this is the thing with, like, the mammoth burial ground that he was talking about. Okay, so we move really slowly across, uh, across snow, and it really takes it out of us. So, let's see, where, what does that guy have to say about that again? You, you cannot just punch a saber tooth tiger to death. I have learned that not quite the hard way. Something that can kill him in the mammal, mammoth burial grounds to the northeast. I bet we're going to have to go through the snow to get whatever that thing is. I, I just bet. Alright, we've moved down to third tier. We're now a Pleopus, which sounds like platypus. Is that a correct? That's not a correct assumption at all. It's more like a sloth. Had a body resembling a giant sloth. Walked on all fours and eight berries, but occasionally stood on two. Which takes our evolution tiers to what? Almost... It's going to take almost a thousand points in either direction to do anything. But I think we may want to stay sturdy. Make our way downward. So we're going to have to really concentrate on staying in the middle here. If we want to take a downward track. But I'm just going to dump those 30 points into... Okay, so let's see what that does for our ability. I feel much more like a mammal now. I feel very furry and well equipped to maybe uh, kick the butt of certain things, like maybe these worms. Uh, let's see what uh, going in the see what going in the snow does. Going in the snow still hurts, but going in random ponds does not. Uh, except for possibly that one for some weird reason. Okay, yes. Drink from the pool, and let's see about fighting stuff like worms. Oh yeah, I feel on a little bit better ground now. And they give me something like what? Okay, it's attacking, holding still. What specials do I have? As I, I have surprise, what does that mean? Approach it as a friend. I am not quite certain what that's uh, supposed to accomplish. Maybe... 
Maybe it'll just like roll over and give up its Evo genes if you surprise it somehow? What is... What does surprise mean? Is it supposed to be a defense lowering thing? Like, they become your friend and then you lower their defenses? Well, let's try it. Let's try it again and see if it approached as a friend. It was unprepared, lowering its defenses. Yeah, so roughly... It crushed you beneath it. That doesn't sound like something new friends would do. Wow. Boy, I'm getting unlucky all over the place with this guy. He's not treating me like a very good friend. It crushed you beneath it. Yeah, that puts me... That's enough of a net gain that I'm happy with it. There we go. Alright, there we go. Alright. Time to see what's up this way. I'm pretty well equipped to take... Take on pretty much anything that gets in my way. I do need to... I need to invest in endurance now that I'm at a new tier. But I think... Once I get to attack, I'll want to go down in that direction to keep going down the tree. Okay, right now I'm a Morapus, which is a little horse-like thing. Let's see if doing attack will take me down the tree. No, it will take me to a game over. Uh-oh. <laughs> what happens here? Oh, is this what becomes of me? Oh, this is just sad. You were thinking of a way to protect yourself from attacks by your enemies. Your body wasn't the largest, and you didn't have tusks to strike them with. But you realized something. The smartest move was to run away and live to fight another day. Discretion is, truly, the better part of valor. That's it. You just had to run. And it would only work if you ran so fast, no one else could ever catch you. So you chose to go down the evolutionary path of constant running. Your bodies gradually shed anything useless, slowing down greatly, and the tips of your toes evolved as you found running on them increased your speed. That is to say, they became hooves. Thousands of years passed. You had weird covers blocking your peripheral vision, and a creature called a human riding on your back who struck your rump with a whip, making you run quickly around a narrow circular field. There were countless other humans around you, making a lot of noise. Once you crossed a certain point, they made you stop running. A human's loud po voice shouted, First place, Symboli Rudolph. We became a triple crown running racehorse. Best non-standard game over ever. Alright, I've achieved it. I've got to Ramapithecus. I think that's getting us on the way to becoming fully human. Unknown length, omnivore. Wasn't, was able to stand and walk, but wasn't able to stand totally straight. Ate hard plants using its agile hands. All right, so, okay, yeah, now the directions, okay, now it's 8,000 in any direction will probably get us to evolve. So we want to start branching out and probably moving into the snow at this point, but we are on the journey to becoming human now, which sucked in EVO the search for Eden, but here, probably going to be pretty good. Okay, it's pretty cold out here. But there are little pools at which to rest ourselves. So we need to head northeast now. Ah, here we go. The cave. The cave where we'll... Maybe this is the Mammoth Burial Grounds. It wasn't that long a journey. I just really like grinding, I suppose. Yes, there's sad music playing. There's bones everywhere. I think we've reached the place. Oh, what the? Asamine attacks? What is this? Okay, well, I'm much stronger than it, so I'm not very worried about it. But this is, a uh, Is this Lucifer land over here? This is, a uh, Let's eat off the trees, maybe? Eat off the bones? Okay, are you a friend or a fo Okay, there's... Wow! Boy, the Gaia's hearts are, uh, very generous in this chapter. I'm just gonna take my fill. Wowzers! Okay, yeah, we definitely want to do some... We definitely want to do some... Okay, yeah. Take it... Let's just go a th thousand over in endurance. Because I don't think that will even get us over to... Wow. That We could evolve endurance at this point. Holy moly. I think we want to keep going in another direction. I want to go... Let's give about a thousand. Yeah, and then let's dump the rest into attack. That should get us close to evolving attack and make us really strong, but not quite get to evolving. Very nice. Okay, we just got a big power boost over here in the Mammoth Burial Grounds. Is this the tool that will allow me... Man, they're just laying everywhere. Is this the tool that will allow me to just punch things to death? Look at the... Look, these are our burial grounds. You should leave as soon as possible. Me, I want to go further in, but I'm stuck here. 
path in is so slippery I can't climb it. Also, there's only old dead trees and vines around here. And vines? Well, not with this body. If I evolved two eggs, I could probably climb them. I wouldn't be a mammoth on two legs. I know that. <laughs> wow. I'm just screwing with that guy. There's an old dead tree on the slope before you. You touched one of the vines connected to the cliff. So, you actually have to get to this point to go up the way. Golly. Is, okay, I can imagine this is going to be what enables me to become the saber-toothed tiger puncher outer. Golly. Bones weighing several kilos are all around you. It's a massive mammoth burial ground. Aha! You stepped on something hard. A mammoth bone. It fits nicely in your hand. So we're getting to the point. Your reach is much longer than before. You learned how to use tools and obtained a bone. Wow. Which is not reflected in the picture that is taken of us, weirdly enough. So let's see what this does for us. So I can fight uh, a singing devil wizard. What the hell is this thing? Sugiyamon? Like, like, uh, like Koichi Sugiyami? Am I fighting the composer of the game right now? Okay, this is really, this, okay. Ah, here we go, bone. Use your bone attack. So, he received 311 damage. <laughs> now, those of you who were thinking Dragon Quest music earlier, this certainly is Dragon Quest music. You were moved by the song, and I was stunned. Oh, no. Okay, so I get stunned. I lose a few hit points. Please go away. <laughs> well, that's certainly that's certainly one way to do this, but I think we want to wander around finding all the Evo genes we can. Oh, wow. Oh, I've actually capped out. I should spend some. Uh, I should spend a lot of them, actually. Uh, let's go... Okay, we're pretty close to evolving in any given direction. All right. Yeah, let's go, let's touch up on the edge of everything we possibly can, which I think is very possible to do. Okay, edged up on that one. Let's go all the way over on Vitality. Boy, this is a, this is a big boost right here. Suddenly the pacing of the game just got a little more wild. So up on Wisdom, definitely. And I think I'm gonna have still enough left to play with after the fact. So, okay. All right, I'm going to stop right there. We're at a perfect diamond shape, more or less. Yes, and we still have 1,100 genes to play with. I could go ahead and uh, whatever this thing is. Okay. Oh, hey, there's even another one right there. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I got that one. I'm trying not to max out. So, I'm going to save, and I'm going to see if this takes us even farther down if I go, like, attack-wise. Yes, we evolve into Java Man, known lover of coffee. So, there we go. He was able to stand up completely straight. We're looking pretty dang good. Lived in groups spread all over regions and hunted for food. 700,000 to 500,000 years ago. Well, we have really taken an evolutionary leap in this chapter, so I think this is the time to uh, go ahead and stop. And uh, we're going to, next time, take on the Sabertooth Tiger, because I think at this point we probably could punch it out. But I think it's going to be, I think it's the bone they want us to use. So yes, we will bone the tiger. Fine, if that's what you want, game.